Now, we've talked about three of the states of matter. We've talked a lot about solids, liquids, and gases, but there's a fourth state of matter that you don't hear much about, and it's called plasma. This has nothing to do with blood. Uh, this is a kind of a plasma that occurs when you heat a gas sufficiently. And it turns out the sparks coming off the terminal of that Tesla coil is, in fact, a plasma. If you take any substance and cool it sufficiently, uh, it becomes a solid, like water becomes ice. Then if you begin to heat the solid, typically most solids will melt. Not all. Dry ice uh, evaporates without melting. But most things change into a liquid. If you heat a liquid, it will usually change into a gas. That's what happens when it boils. If you continue heating a gas, it in fact will turn into a plasma. And a plasma is much like an ordinary gas, except it's a conductor of electricity. And uh, that makes all of the difference in the world. And I can show you several examples of a plasma. And I've got back here a tube uh, that right now has air in it. And so in order to make a plasma, one of the first things we need to do is to lower the pressure. So I'm going to turn the vacuum pump on and lower the pressure inside this tube. Now, to make a plasma, we need to heat it somehow. We need a source of energy. And I'm going to use electric energy. Uh, that's one of the most efficient kinds of energy we know. And so I'm going to put about 500 volts between these electrodes at the two ends of the tube. And when I do that, I hope that we will be able to make a plasma for you. Now, this may take a moment because it is only, there we go, as the pressure drops, we reach a point where the, uh, the gas becomes electrically conducting. And now I'm going to take a very powerful magnet and bring it up close to the plasma and show you that, in fact, we can affect the plasma with a magnetic field. So you may wonder how you control a plasma. Well, this is one way. You control it with a very powerful magnetic field. And so we can turn this off and turn off the vacuum pump. And uh, that is one example of a plasma. Now, I have here another gadget that makes a plasma. And you may have seen these, maybe not one quite as large as this. But this is what we call a plasma globe. And it also has a very low pressure gas inside. And it has some electric voltage that makes these uh, electric discharges. And so this is an electrically conducting gas. And you've probably played with those before. Here's another example of the same thing. Inside of here is an electrically conducting gas, a plasma, that is actually emitting some ultraviolet radiation that is making um, a phosphor on the inside of the glass glow when it is exposed to that uh, um, ultraviolet light. So these are two examples of plasmas. And uh, plasmas are actually uh, very common throughout the universe. In fact, it's been estimated that upwards of 99% of the universe is a plasma. The Earth is an unusual place where matter exists in those other three states. All of the stars are big balls of plasma. 